the cause question. behind that? Well, there are many, many ways to think of it, but historically, have governments ever faked incidents or incited incidents in order to get them into wars. Do nations you think, that, you I don't think it has ever happened yes. historically. I'm sure it has. Yeah, it I don't has. think this is the case right here. I don't think that there was a conspiracy between Bush and Tony Blair to put these soldiers in as pawns so that we can jump into Iran. I think we're going to try to use other methods to stop their well, program. There's an admiral who asked that we use diplomatic uh, methods to get out of it, and that's where I wish that we would. I mean, I yeah. wish everybody would, would exercise diplomacy so yeah. and compromise, and sometimes you have to give something up in order to achieve achieve something better, peace, sometimes you have to do that. And it seems like it's those ideologies that are not being talked about enough. What would a diplomatic compromise be? What would a diplomatic right. summit be here? Well, it's just it's very hard in America when anyone from the Mideast has been so demonized that no matter what, it's impossible for some people to believe that the Iranians in any way could ever do anything ethical in any capacity. Oh, that they've the somehow case. been dehumanized this to the, the point where they're not people who, they're just the we're, enemy. We're, they're we're, talking, we're not talking about the Iranian people. We're talking yeah. about their government right. who essentially has total control over them. They essentially have zero say well, in that government. that's how people see us, I hope, in the that's world. That's right. Our government, right? Yes. People, I hope people across the world don't think what George Bush is doing represents the American people because the last election showed it does not. But yes. let me ask you this. Like, what, con uh, what concerns me is that there's this environment now where we're almost more apt to trust our enemies than our allies. And that's very concerning to me. But that is concerning when nearly everyone, everyone in this... Bush administration for that administration for that. They've completely yeah. annihilated all of our trust. See, I trust our allies and I trust our government much more than I trust our enemies on the war in terror. But would you say, Elizabeth, that you trust the Bush administration as much as you did when he first took office? Would you admit... To an, you know what? In a time of war, I think you are in a position where you have to Nearly everyone in this administration is under indictment or suspicion. Mm -hmm. Nearly every person from Karl Rove to Rumsfeld yeah. to Gonzalez, yeah. what do you have it's to do to get impeached in this country? You know what, what do you have to do? You know what you have to do? People will, will brush that off, and Which I'm going one? to be uh, Monica, and I'm uh -huh. going to be discreet Go because ahead. your daughter's right. here. Okay. But let me tell you, while he was um, enjoying himself, uh -huh. there were things going on in this world. Namely, three times he could have had Osama bin Laden within his scope, and he was too busy to try to. Wait a minute. Wait a second. That is important. I'm not sure that he was enjoying himself at that moment. I'm sure he I was doing that, nothing. I think but enjoying himself. No, I don't think so. I think Kim Star. The other guy was just bad. The other guy was just bad. He did this. That digresses from what the real issue is, and the issue is. But even you. Worded a war on terror. I think personally that is propaganda. Exactly, oh, Marsha Gay. Thank you. I don't like the wording of it like that. Right, or like because it, it makes people into evil and good. I'm sorry, but the, the people war. who left the soldiers on the front line. Johnny, 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 Johnny,
forefathers. Now, to clarify, in terms of this war, do I think we went in in the right yeah. way? No, we could have done things a lot better. We okay. should have gone in with more troops. There should have been. I'm not a military st strategist. No, but, but do you I think, think Iraq had anything to do with 9/11, Elizabeth? You know what? I, that's yes, something that I struggle with. Did Iraq have anything to do with blowing up the Twin Towers? I believe Towers? that at the time, George Bush, was our president, was faced with a decision. And all the evidence stated that it did. And all the evidence that all the Democrats who voted for this war saw. Not and all the evidence. That all, all the cherry-picked evidence. Okay, well, the, the evidence that they saw indicated that Iraq had a part in 9-11. And that they were, they were plotting to use those weapons of mass destruction in the future. You still future think this now? Hang on. He had the choice to, to make the mistake and go in there, assuming that they did or that they didn't. Okay? I'd rather him make the mistake on the fact that yes they had it and at least we okay, went in. Let me ask you one more thing. Do you think the government purposely misled the American people to believe that Iraq had something to do with 9-11? No. Yes. yes, says the crowd. Do you believe that the government had anything to do with the attack of 9-11? Do you believe in a conspiracy in terms of the attack of 9-11? No, but I do believe that it is the first time in history that fire has ever melted steel. I do believe that it defies physics for the World Trade Center up. Tower 7, Building mm -hmm. 7, which collapsed in on itself. It is impossible for a building to fall the way it fell without explosives being involved. World Trade Center 7. World Trader 1 and 2 got hit by planes. 7, miraculously, the first time in history, steel was melted by fire. It is physically impossible. And who do you think is responsible for that? I have no idea. But to say that we don't know that it imploded and it was an implosion and a demolition is beyond ignorant. Look at the films. Get a physics expert here from Yale, from Harvard. Pick the school. It defies reason. Let's get one. Let's okay. get one. Because that I would do it. is the unthinkable. It is the unthinkable. But imagine if, the, if somebody could convince you of that, could prove it to you, Elizabeth. Just seven. I don't think it would happen, but I would. if someone could sit here right now and prove that okay. to me, I would I Okay, would we're going to call up Harvard, and we're going to call up Yale. And we're going to ask somebody from physics to come and explain. Wait a second, Bush went to Yale. How good could they be? We'll go to Harvard. We'll go to Harvard. We're going to take a break, and we'll be right back in America, land of the free, home of the brave. Peace out. We'll be right back.